Taking the tires. Thieves targeting a quiet suburban neighborhood and leaving vehicles undrivable. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. Something no one certainly would want to wake up to, a car missing its wheels. You're right, Devin, but that's been the case for several homeowners. And tonight, the search is on for the thieves. The story takes us to Southgate near Dix, Toledo, and Pennsylvania. Our Sean Lay is there with a look at the problem. Good evening, Sean. Let's take an up close look at that problem, Carmen. It's all about the tires. They are being ripped off in places like Southgate, over to Woodhaven, other places west of here, Redford, Dearborn Heights getting hit almost on a nightly basis. We're talking about tires being stolen, vehicles being left up on blocks. Here on this street, a former police chief had his wheels taken off of his vehicle. A woman around the corner was hit just a couple of days ago. Now stay tuned because just in the last couple of minutes, we were able to get a glimpse of some security camera footage of the suspects that police are looking for. Shock, disappointed. Streets don't come more quiet than the streets Sabina Prevo lives on in Southgate, but right at the end of her cul-de-sac in her driveway while she and her family were asleep inside, a crew quietly came by and ripped the tires and wheels off her brand new Chevy Equinox. Her SUV left on bricks taken from her neighbor's landscaping, new tires and rims gone, and costly damage done to the frame. But it's over $5,000 in damage without looking at the bottom. Southgate police told her that the thefts are going on all over. About a mile away, the same crew hitting an SUV in this Holiday Inn parking lot. Employees saying the security camera caught them pulling up and getting the tires in just minutes before speeding off. Another man in Woodhaven waking up to find his new Ford SUV up on bricks, wheels gone. Dearborn Heights and Redford also seeing theft after theft of wheels. A professional crew cruising quiet streets looking for their next target sitting out in a driveway. Get a real job. Leave us alone. Back here live, as I say, we're just able to get a quick shot of some security camera footage of these guys in action. What you're looking at is a newer model Dodge Caravan coming through a cul-de-sac here, uh, one of the streets here in this subdivision at around 430 in the morning. After you see the van go by, we actually could see these guys uh, in the dark going back and forth uh, towards an SUV here. What they were checking for was wheel locks. They found wheel locks on those tires and they kept on moving. They left that SUV alone, but these guys work uh, in the dark here around 4, 430 in the morning. They're very quiet and they're very quick. Carmen, Devin, back to you. Well, Sean, do police feel like they're getting close to whoever's doing this? You know, they don't because they're hitting with such frequently frequency and in different areas, very quiet areas, so they're able to stay one step ahead. One source told me today that once they get their hands on a car, it's about eight minutes, get all the wheels right. off, and they're gone. So they're working very, very quickly. It is lightning fast. All right, Sean.